Hello, today we are going to try to fix my uh, recent purchase and I deeply believe this is one of the most powerful hair dryer that are being operated from 12 volt. I purchased it at a really great price as not working and here you can see the reason. As you can see our cigarette lighter plug was melted and basically stop working and it is like the most powerful one it will pull almost 20 amp it was rated over 200 watts which on 12 volt system is really a lot so if you've got a 12 volt solar system if you've got like a camper rv then this is the way to go and we are going to try to fix it because I deeply believe the device is going to be fully operational. Here, of course, I've got a proper uh, rated plug, so you just can see the difference. This is a 20 amp plug. Just take a look how beefy the end terminal is. There should be beefy spring because on those tiny one there is a small spring that is touching fuse. And this is what is creating heat up. So let me try to open it. Looks like it is totally melted and there is no way to unscrew the fuse because there will be glass fuse and there will be also a spring. That part should come off. But anyway, we are going to break it. And this is what we've got. This is the spring I was telling you about and it's creating that force that is making contact and as you can see it was acting like a resistor and it was glowing red hot and melted everything and someone returned it and that should be our gain because it's going to be pretty simple fix. This is proper plug and let's take a look at the difference. It was rated 20 amp and here we've got our beefy tip. This is the way to go. We've got 20 amp fuse provided. Absolutely great. And I'm opening it for first time. So let's see what kind of spring do we've got. We can see that it is a different build. That's going to be our negative. And how to grab the positive. Looks like we have to solder here. I would say this is not great space. That's not really good. Little bit scary. But yeah, we are going to try. We have to remember that the shorter one is going to be our positive. Which make a lot of sense. Here is positive and the long one is going to be negative, so let me undo it. Okay, we go like this. And let's see, do we have to swap that part? Yes, we are going to replace it because we don't want to forget it. If we solder it wrongly, then it can touch the negative and create that short. So I will make it shorter. We are going to cut it. Go like this. Let's try to add a little bit solder there. So we are nicely pretty. Okay, that looks beautiful. We are going to grab our positive, go like this, and now the scary part. And how does it present? Will it touch and create short? I think I will add a little bit of glue. But maybe if it's going to be center, then we can give it a pass. So let's solder the negative. 
We are going to make it shorter. Let's check how our thermaltronics work with such big piece. Absolutely no problem whatsoever. And that presents beautiful. I think it will move like this and we are going to get a pass. Let me see what's going to happen with the fuse. And it's creating a little bit force. So it is quite interesting design. I believe that the center pin is made out of metal and the spring is not conducting any electricity. It is just pushing it forward. So I think it is extremely clever design. You see this? That piece is like a one off and here is going to be spring that is not carrying any load but just pushing it. That looks really really great. So we have to go like this. The worst thing that can happen is that we can get a short. Looks like we are flat with this. Our fuse, our center pin, we are going to screw it on. And will we just finish our job? Let's try out. To try it out we need a more powerful machine. Here we've got my Voltcraft which is capable of delivering 30 amps. Here I attach my cigarette lighter adapter. We are going to power it on. We are going to set it up to 13.8 volt because this is where I would like to be. So we go 13.8, great value. I will set the 25 amp. If we've got a short, then just the fuse is going to be blown. We are going to plug it in. We've got nothing. First we go with the cold air, which is our step number one. We just got blower and it's working perfect. Then we go with the hot air. And we've got 20 amp. Absolutely beautiful. And the air is warm. I absolutely love this. I can definitely dry my hair using that kind of power. So you can multiply 20 amp times 13.7 volt and you will get the power. It is really warm and really great. I will try to leave it for a moment, so like a five minutes to make sure that we are not warming up our plug and not melting. And in meantime, I will prepare my temp probe. It is over five minutes. I grab my meter. We go into the temp. We are reading 20 Celsius degree, so I would say it is like a two centigrade off. And we are going to try to warm it up. So you will know what kind of temp are we getting. And you have to understand that difference is going to be offset by your room temp. So do not expect that temp if you are going to be running it at zero Celsius degree. But as you can see at that distance, we've got around 40 Celsius degree. If we go closer, then of course we should get more. But to your hand, it feels really nice and warm. Let's see how hot it is. And looks like it is hot, but not scary hot. And I would say it is a good repair. So looks like we've got a good fix. So if you are looking for 12 volt powerful 
hair dryer then this is the way to go and just take a look how nicely it can collapse absolutely beautiful purchase and quick easy fix so thank you very much for watching i hope you find that interesting see you next time and bye bye